I've come upon this new product that I like a lot and it's, it's called um, gloves in a bottle and all you have to do is use just a little bit of a squirt here it really goes a long way and what this does is it protects your skin from any toxins that might be in either oil paint or in the case of today we're using acrylic paint also works uh, with watercolor and it protects your skin now I like to really dig into the paint. So paint's flying all around my studio and it obviously is going to get on my hands as well. Well, once you're finished painting, then the cleanup is almost like it's magic as well. The paint just falls off. So I strongly recommend that product. Hi, I'm Bob Rankin. In my previous free art lesson, we talked about how to create the texture and to create a wonderful environment, an underwater environment for these great Fiji fish to swim in. And when you take a look at this, you can see that this is all done in modeling paste or molding paste, heavy body, and it's a very wonderful sculpture medium. It holds up to a lot of uh, pressure, whether it be with a palette knife or a brush, but also it's, it's so permanent and you can really build up these surfaces so they extend out from the surface of the canvas. Now with that in mind, I keep thinking, what's missing in this? Well, it's obviously the Fiji fish. How are we going to create this? Well, at this point, of course, this, the canvas has been set out to dry. It's been drying overnight. The paint is all completely dry. And now it's just that final perfect touch of the fish. And how do we create that school for the fish to swim in? So what I've got here for you is a combination of cadmium red light acrylic paint. And then I also have the modeling or molding paste as it's called by different companies. And so I use a ratio of generally two to one. Two parts molding paste, one part of the cadmium red. And I'm just going to simply mix this up. The great thing about the molding paste, the modeling paste, is it really accepts pigment beautifully. It just changes the intensity uh, in a very small manner but I love the intensity of this cadmium red. And the reason that I'm using this cadmium, of course you could use many, many different colors, but one of my first impressions from diving in Fiji were these wonderful, brilliant red-orange fish that schooled by the thousands. So I'm just gonna try to capture a little bit of that. Now, how do you apply it? Well, the traditional method might be by using a palette knife or it could be using a regular brush. All I'm going to do is use a baggie and I have a tendency to use Ziploc bags and also the freezer type because they hold up under pressure when you're squeezing them out of the bag. So I'm going to take this, force it down into the corner of the bag and I'm just going to force it down like that into the corner again, wrap it around like this. So again, it's very similar to working with a cake decorating kit and you could actually use that. Then I'm going to come back in and I'm just going to snip off a little bit of the corner of that bag. Just enough so that a fish can swim out of that bag. Starting from the top, up in the upper left hand corner and trying to remember how these fish used to swim in and around all this wonderful coral life, I'm going to have, ah, here comes one now. Whew. And then putting more pressure at first and then lightening up on the pressure so that you create kind of a fanciful tail image swimming around. Look at the length of the tail on that one. And then since fish have a tendency, of course, to swim in schools, I'm going to try to create that movement and keep it as natural as it possibly can. Well, here they are schooling up towards the top of the surface and I'm going to have some swimming over and intermingling with this great living coral over here. Try to capture the essence of that swim from the fish. And again, heavy pressure at first and then just lightening up. Coming down. And the other reason that I use this is just simply because you have that wonderful blue of the background mixing and reacting to the vibrancy of the cadmium orange so that you have complementary colors working against each other and it creates a wonderful tension to it. 
and it makes them pop from a distance. Want to have different sizes, and of course you could tone this orange down by adding part of its complement of blue. If I wanted to create the illusion of some of these fish swimming in the distance, then I would tone down the orange and use a different baggie and apply those as well. So that you have some that are all swimming and floating on the top surface, and then some that are really taking your eye back into the distance there. Again, the reason that I'm starting from the top and working down is you don't want to drag this bag across these wonderful fish that you're doing. If you have a dull area or one that needs a little vibrancy to it, this is a perfect time to just add some vibrancy to it by putting that complementary color on top of it. Just going to add a couple more down here, swimming across the bottom, maybe one going out on its own over there on the left, and that's it. You don't want to overdo it. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Bob Rankin.